All right, so we're out here at uh, Lake St. Catherine, and we're in the woods. It's summertime again. Um, I do a lot of knife reviews, tons, really. All my knife reviews are on Hibben Knives, so I decided I'm going to review a knife that I don't normally review. Uh, I'm only doing this because it got left here by my brother, but we're going to do a review for an M-Tech survival knife. And, uh, like Nick Chabaz says, USA. It's designed by USA. Never met this USA guy before in my life. I, I love Nick Shabazz. You guys should check him out. Shout out to Nick Shabazz for uh, talking about all his terrible knives. Uh, so, first, I just want to say the first thing. Like, what the fuck? Like, I got, like, a kukri saw. Like, uh... Um, oh, you're going to hear uh, <coughs> kids in the background, but I got Alea. Hi. Alea's chopping down a tree, or trying to, with her Hibben Sidewinder. Show them your knife, Alea. It's a Hibben knife. Yes, it is. It says this on the case. It says Hibben knife onto the case. Well, Hibben knives. Yes. yes and then Fizey, show them your knife. He has a Rambo. Yeah? Is that your Rambo knife, buddy? Yeah? That's awesome, dude. Yeah, look, the spin of it is fluffy. Yeah? All right, so they're chopping trees. I'm over here chopping trees. Uh, so the saw blade, first of all, we'll talk about this weird saw blade. Works, kind of. I got in there a little bit. Can we uh, bring this... Bring this on a little bit here. Look at that. There we go. Perfect. So we get, we get in there a little bit. Um, above it here, I've been taking a couple wax with this thing. Uh, just to kind of get a feel for it before I did this video. Um, and I just have to say, you know, if you give it a good, uh, a good solid whack... All right. I mean, you can definitely get some good pieces out of there, right? The problem is, it's got the most fucking uncomfortable handle you'll ever hold in your entire life. Um, oh my god. So every time you hold it, Right down your lower grip, you have all these jagged pieces of metal grating into your skin. Okay? You have all this fucking stupid jimping right here that gets in the way of your thumb. So your fingers constantly are like... They're just... And then you have this hard plastic ABS bullshit. Uh, that's crazy. Not very ergonomic or well-designed hand wash. I mean, even if I was hold it like this, I mean, mm, that feels, that feels even more uncomfortable. Um, so we're going to come over here, the sheath for it's right here. We're going to put it in its sheath and then we're going to go back to this bad boy. I'm going to show you the difference. So let me pause it real quick. Pause button's right here on my screen. Then we have stop and record. I bet you if you guys are watching this through your phone and you hit your little buttons, you're going to find out yours. Oh, and I have a time bar right here. We are at 4.12. Pausing. All right. Now we're back to this guy. So, now with the good old trusty Hibben, right? Now, the reason I was able to do all that is because this handle is fucking amazing, comparatively. Oh my god. That other thing's got an ass garbage handle. This thing has a very nice, very 
ergonomic, lovely, and the blade retention is insane. There are a couple burrs I caught this weekend. Where is it? Um, let, me, let me ride up the blade here, right there. Can you see that? We're gonna have to resharpen. But, um, oh yeah, one right there too. Oh, but see, for the most part, for the most part, this blade is amazing. I've only sharpened this once. Once I've had to sharpen this. Um, and it's absolutely cool. Yeah, uh, like Alea just mentioned, um, I'm gonna put this knife back in its sheath. I have to show you guys this bird's foot I coincidentally found. I was just yeah, found <coughs> looking at the ground and saw it. So... Right over here, I'm gonna take up the uh, trusty Gil Hibben Sidewinder. I've actually been throwing this this weekend and it's an amazing little like, like it's obviously not maybe supposed to be a thrower, but totally could be the way it's weighted. Uh, I've been doing a lot of blade throws. Um, and I love it, dude. I, lo I just caught that all by the way, by looking through my camera. Talk about some hand eye, right? Ooh. Yeah, okay, it's a little sketchy, but whatever. Velociraptor! Look at that. I think it belonged to a woodpecker or some sort of perching bird. You know, you can see the talons. It's got the three up front, one in the back, huge. It's definitely a perching bird. Oh, well, then it wouldn't be a woodpecker. What the fuck am I talking about? Because a woodpecker has... Uh, Two up front, two in the back. And he's got some gold gold feathers here. Maybe it was a finch. I don't know. That could have been a finch. Sorry, you guys are looking over here. I'm trying to put my knife back in the sheath here. Um, I'm going to go over to Alea here in a second. She's saying she's almost got her knife cut down. We'll take a look at this. She's been Actually, we'll stop at Matthias first because he's right here. Oh, wow, is this what you did, buddy? No, I'm just joking. That's not Matthias. We'll go right up here. Whoa, dude. What? Good job. What? Good job, buddy. Dad, I only need, like, an inch what is left. this? Not even an inch, Dad. Get in there, buddy. Dad, I don't even need an inch left. All I need is, like, a tiny little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's about an inch, Alea. Holy moly! Holy moly! That's what I just did. did you find something in there, buddy? That's just a spider web. Oh, it looks like a spider web. Is it a spider dad? Nope, no spider. He's maybe out getting stuff, or maybe Fizzy scared him. Uh, I did it with my knife. Yeah, woo! A nice knife, sir. That's too. Cool. It does look cool. Yeah? Some green stuff there. Oh yeah, look at the lay over here. That soon it's gonna be coming down. I'd keep chopping right there, Leia. Do not stop. Do me a favor. Stop yeah. for one second. <laughs> okay. Can you aim right there at that brown spot, Leia? Yeah. If you hit that brown spot every time in a couple chops, fall right over. Oh, whoa! <laughs> you gotta be careful. Hold it tight, okay? Dad, I don't really like putting my finger here because I always think it might, like... Well, you don't have to. That's just... That's a finger choil. That's so you can put your finger there or not, but oh. it's, uh... It's mostly there for you to get a better grip on the blade, like if you're sharpening or whittling or carving something. It's kind of more or less what yeah, that well, knife is for. Down. That was a good idea, Dad, because now it's gonna be coming down soon. Oh, yeah. I love cutting down trees. Even though this is my first time, I still love it. Yeah? Let's get your face up here, kiddo. I'm just looking at your knife the whole time. <laughs> That's just funny. Okay. I hope I get this tree down, and I hope we can go farther in the woods. Oh, my God, Dad. It's going to be falling down. I see it. I see it. Keep going. I 
have to use my different all right hand. all right do me a favor yeah no no use the same hand oh. you just tighten your wrist up a little LA, okay yeah, but look wet my shoes. look so when you chop do down 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 okay well i guess it doesn't really matter you can do it two times three times whoever just go a couple times down and then go kind of like Sideways. Either sideways or sideways and up, like diagonal, because then it'll chip out that little, it'll make like a triangle and chip it out. Uh, so, like, if you're doing it like this, okay? Uh, okay? Daddy, don't do, do it for Do something me. like that. Dad, don't okay? do it for me. I want to do it. Don't worry. You're all right. Go for it. Dad? Dad? What? Keep going, keep going, Alea. Did I just stop for a second? Cause I oh, bug the mosquito or something just started to bite me. Hey, hey, keep going! Don't lose that momentum, Alea. Come on. You do it faster, faster. Breathe, breathe, Alea. Don't stop breathing. You gotta breathe in between. When you stop breathing, your muscles get uh. What is it? You stop breathing and you the muscles get filled with lactic acid and you get all slow and you get tired. It burns you out more. Mom well, tried to say your name. What? What? All right, hold on one second. Keep going, Alea. Go, go, go. Then you could just go down there. I could cut this down. And watch you guys cannot be up here alone. Dad, it's getting tipped. Dad, I'm gonna try doing it on this side now. I'm just gonna keep trying. Nika, we're coming. Alea's just almost chopped through a tree. And I'm gonna chop. Just chop. Alea? 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 Alea, why don't you chop harder? No, listen, you want to know what your problem is? I'm watching you, and you know what your problem is? You stop at the tree. Chop like you're going through the tree. Okay. There you go! Yay! There you go, kiddo! Ow. Good job, kiddo! Good job! Now you take your knife and put it right down in there like knife or death. Uh, I can't. Yeah, I'm Here. A Can you do it for me? There, thanks. Well, there you go, Alea. High five, kiddo. My first time. Woo! Dad, I, Dad, but I, I cut down this tree, which means we could use it for firewood, Daddy. Yeah? Yeah. Dad. Well, not now. Cause they're what, buddy? Put that away now, Alea. Cause we gotta go down. I'm gonna tell mom, and I cut and down bitch, a tree. It's a coming. Like but literally, Fuzzy. I just cut down a tree. All right, buddy. Are you ready? Go we gotta go down, down real quick, okay? Daddy, I'm gonna go Do you want me to take your knife and put it away for you? Mm. Can you put? Hey, don't forget your strap. Undo your strap first. Undo my strap. I'll hold it. There you go. You're gonna hold it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me get Uncle Mike's knife. <laughs> M Tech Usa. <laughs> Nick Shabazz. That guy's a hoot, dude. It was a good video. I'm gonna come this way so we can show him how we get water. We get our water direct from a spring. Nico and I were going to hike up there and I was going to take my phone and record it. But it got so rained out yesterday we never got a chance. Um, but yeah, like I said, we get it straight from a spring. Like we get a PVC pipe that has uh, filters and connections and then it goes into a barrel and the barrel runs through this line. Uh, this line is actually, it kind of disappears right there. You see it going? Okay, so that line goes maybe... A mile and a half into the woods to where the spring is. Um, so we were having a problem with our water, but we refilled it. My brother, my mom, and I went up to the spring. We found out that the PVC pipe, which is only about eight feet long, 
Um, the last time Mike fixed it, he put it a little lower so it filled with sediment. So the filter got filled up with mud and we couldn't use it, it got plugged up, you know, so we had to clean it all out. But now this thing is running. This was like that full when we got here this weekend. Now it's to the top, overflowing. It has been overflowing ever since we connected it yesterday. Like, oh my God, and the water's so fresh and cold. Logan and I, my nephew Logan and I were uh, taking it right from the line. We had a rip in the line, so we had to cut it. And we were just drinking it straight from the line, man. And it was so fresh, so clean, all natural spring water. And then look at this. So, so we're in the woods, right? These are like the woods. Okay, you go that way and you could be lost if you don't know where you're at. But then you come this way, you got our cabin and you have this house. Then you have this crazy other house right over there that you can't really see, but it's all the same property. It's like this modern day fucking bullshit in a place where like, I mean, dude, we have deer coming through here all the time. It's crazy. It's nuts. It's fucking nuts, dude. Industrialization, right? Anyway, survival of the fittest. We're out.